Hello, Soul Lights. Wishing you a great weekend. Um, this video is just an answer to um, a question that I've gotten um, in the comments and also in a couple of my DMs um, on Instagram. And it is about the Pisces full moon, the super moon, which means it's very, very close to the earth. Blue moon, the second full moon that was in August, right? So the, the video, if you wanna know which one it was, it's dated the 29th of August. And it's the Pisces full moon where I shared with you a full moon ritual and I talked a bit about the moon cycles and the full moon, which is a compilation or completion time. And it really is a wrapping up. And what we did for this uh, full moon ritual was to begin to recognize what you're completing, what has completed, what is over, what seems to be changing. So it's completed in a way that you did something that you did in, in your past or an approach or it could be a project or relationship. It could be anything that you sense. It could even be something that you're saying, I'm not going to do this anymore or I'm not going to go in that direction anymore. And then because in the new moon, you're going to be noticing what is um, newly coming in or beginning and how you can support that. So the whole idea with this ritual was to take the energy of what is ending. And we even had that in the mantra, right? The affirmation, the mantra to, to align to the magic and the intention of what you're wanting to align to and create. So it's a, a lot about letting what is ending and how to take the energy of what is ending, right? Because a lot of times we're stuck in the past and that means our energy, it's actually called attention units, little units or bundles or pockets of energy stay stuck when we're stuck in the past or focusing on the past. So you can bring that energy forward to create with and into, into your future. So if you have, haven't had a chance, watch the video, and if you want to do the ritual, um, you could do it on the next full moon, actually. But what happened is Pisces, with the water and the merging energy of Pisces, the subconscious energy, the collective, unconscious, and superconscious energy, the energy of the cosmos. There's a lot of different ways to look at that Piscean energy. It deals a lot with the subconscious and unconscious. So we're blending what we what's completing to now what we want to focus on because the next new moon, you're gonna start taking action. So new moons are a lot about action. Full moons are about completion, compilation. They also can highlight something. You can use it to charge your manifestations. So I suggest if you used organic paper that you bury this, whether in the ground or a potted plant, and you can water it, water your intentions, your focus, and what you're letting go of and what you're manifesting with this water. You can also toss it. As long as you say, you know, and you have the intention, if, you, if you're just throwing it in the, the bin, you know, the, the, the rubbish bin or trash bin, um, that's up to you. You can bury it in earth, you can bury it in um, sand, but now you can keep this for a few days after the full moon, or you can keep it for the new moon and then charge the energies for the full moon that's coming in. I'll do a video on that um, so that you can take the action steps. New moon is a lot about action steps. What are you putting in, especially when the moon is waxing? That means it's gaining in energetic strength radiance it's building so we always want to do our manifestations or what we want to draw in at the time of the waxing moon and new moon all right i hope that um gives you some options as to what to do with your ritual i mean ritual there's i've studied ritual for many many years and taught ritual and wiccan goddess groups just all, all kinds of ritual but ritual for it to really work you have to make it your own so maybe you have something special that you want to do, a special ritual that you do uh, for the moon cycles or for this particular uh, Pisces supermoon. Uh, let me know in the comments and let me know also if there is a specific reading you would like me to do. All right, lots of love and light.